Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Rips. I'm Lance. Today we got our boombox baseball battle with Clint over Swing Away Sports Cards. We do this every, you know, sometimes we see a good lineup or something like that. We talk him into doing it. <laughs> so it's uh, top five versus top five. We picked our top five cards out of here. This is just the base version. Kind of, We uh, both kind of like this version. Thought it had the best value. He opened his already. He said his was kind of light though. Uh, he, but his Bowman best pack was the uh, one for him, so we'll save that one for last. I mean, we probably would have anyways, but uh, uh, this has Stadium Club this month. I can't remember what the other packs were, but we'll find out here in a second. I think you're supposed to get five to seven packs. And this is $53.99, so you get your 55.1 touch. We got 2023 tops. Hobby, we got 2023 Stadium Club, we got 2021 High Number, well that's an interesting pack, two of those, and a pack of the Bowman's Best, so not a lot in here, so I can see what he was saying there. We'll open it like that and see what we can do, hopefully we'll put a couple autos, and uh, like I said, his, said his Bowman Best pack was the best, his best one, there's the hit odds if you're interested, and there was the uh, four packs of listed, and then I guess they threw in this extra 2021 Hobbs Heritage High Number, which is these boxes are really super cheap, but, you know, we can pull maybe something nice out of here. So there's a Jake Cronenworth. Oh, there's something in there. There's a Pavin Smith rookie card. A couple of good rookies. And we got a Max Meyer, or Max, Max Meyer, Max Kepler numbered, uh, hand numbered at a 99, 66 out of 99. Game use memorabilia. So that's a good start for the boom box battle. So I forgot I got to think about the five cards I'm going to keep out. There's a Jared Kellenick. A good one for me. We'll see how he does over in Atlanta. Hoping he does great. Going on to the 2023 Tops Series One. Oh, we got one of those packs that are all over the place. There's a Gmon Choi. There's a Hunter Brown rookie card. Not too bad. Nathaniel Lau. There's a Ha Sung Kim. I know old Clint was hoping he would be going to the Giants. There's a Mookie Betts. Actually, that's not really a top top five card for the PC card. Darren Ruff. So that was a rough pack. Ugh. So we got the two. Our best hit odds out of these guys here. Stadium Club. Uh, I've opened three blasters so far. That's the only Stadium Club I've opened this year. And the hobby boxes, I just think, are too expensive. But I might just break down and, and get a compact box. I haven't pulled an autograph yet. But let's see, maybe we'll get one out of here. So there's a Hunter Brown rookie card again. Anthony Rizzo. There's a nice flatty Guerrero Jr. They have tons of these uh, Gatorade shots this year. I bet oh, look at that. Andre Dawson. That's a foil, too. That's going to be a low number. But I was going to say, there's tons of these uh, uh, old vintage cards. Stevie loves the Gatorade pour shots, and there's a ton of them this year in this set. And who do we get as our autograph? We got Ken Waldachuk. This should be, yep, 2 out of 10. So we got a super nice low numbered pitcher rookie <laughs> card. Uh, yeah, that figure. Oh, we got a black and white too. That is a Max Muncy. Not numbered, but that's too not too bad. We'll put that up there. I don't know what the hit odds are on those. I think they're like average like one per box maybe. Let's see if we can get another autograph. That would be uh, crazy. Hey, there's Ken Walter check right there in the back. Hopefully he turns out to be good. There's a Lars new bar and a Masataka Yoshida. A couple of nice cards for Clint there. Kirby Puckett, that's a sweet card. Oh, nice! And we got a Garrett Mitchell rookie card, red foil. That's probably worthy of putting up there. The Honus Wagner and a Ken. They're like I said, there's the Ken Waldachuk. See, Baseball America, Oakland's fifth best prospect. And we'll see what happens. At least he, yeah, uh, it looks like he actually is a starter, so that's that's a point in our favor. And here we go, our last pack, Bowman's Best. This is the one that Clint said he did well in. We already got an autograph and a relic card out of here, though, so I guess we shouldn't get too greedy, but we would love to see another autograph out of here. Here we go, Matt Olson. There's a Raphael Devers. That's a cool shot with a City Connect uniform. And there's a Masterpiece of Drew Jones, so not an autograph, but that, oh, look at that card. That's a sweet-looking card. I like this card too, though. But Corbin Carroll, what is this? Corbin Carroll, I don't know what AP stands for. 
That is a sweet looking card though. And a Chris Bryant refractor. So not too bad. I would have to say that uh, I'm going to stick with those as top five. I thought I'd be having to dig through some stuff and hoping to find my top five. But I, was pretty, I think that's a pretty straightforward top five. Maybe put the Drew Jones instead of the Max Muncy. But as always, thanks for... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to put the link to Clint's video in here. Video. Make sure you check out both videos and let us know who you thought had the better boombox this month. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you next time.